I believe the electricity should be able to create fire. I think unlike other art forms, knowing how I do it doesn't cheapen it. <laughs> and that's the first thing I want to teach you this evening. Please notice I didn't say show you. I said teach you. I want you, at the end of this, to be able to eat fire. And I'm going to teach you in a piece I like to call How to Eat Fire in Three Easy Steps. I try to be very scientific, but somewhere in the back of my brain is that six million year old monkey person going, no, 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 no. It's new, it doesn't have the mojo and magic in it. So give me a moment, let me try again. I don't, I don't know why, I, I think if I can really pull my knees up though, I can get Jojo to pass out. <laughs> All right, the leap of faith. Watch the glass. <sighs> this is where scientists, science fans, nerds come together and we're supposed to sell it. That's what we do, we get excited about stuff. And you don't sell the steak, baby, you sell the sizzle. You wrap yourself an American flag, you hum Battle Hymn of the Republic, and you talk about bravely leading the world into the future. Your children flying in machines 10,000 miles into the sky. Electricity on every corner. What a magical place. And we might have done that. We might have, we nerds. Had the two most important men involved in electricity not been huge assholes. <laughs> I chose that word carefully. They were assholes. Maybe not in other, but in this, yes. What they did was disgusting. Good evening, my name's Tom Britton. <laughs> Welcome to Freak Show and Tell. This show was born from an FAQ, from Frequently Asked Questions. I toured for nine years, mostly in colleges, Mostly in the US, a little bit in Canada, a little bit in Europe.